Today I'm at here at the Butcher Jones Recreation Area. Came out to see if I could see some of the wild horses. I come out here and mostly just to check on them, see if they're getting their water. Sometimes I come out and clean out garbage off the beach and just kind of walking along the washes trying to see if I can find them. A lot of people just come down here and party. I guess it's really popular for the teenagers, high school students and stuff like that to come down on a Friday night or Saturday night and party away. I guess it's been like that for quite a few years. People bring out the pallets and they burn the pallets. The problem is it leaves all these nails so the horses can get a nail in their hoof. And boaters too. I've watched boaters just get out of their boats and leave water bottles and other trash they just dump out of the boats and just leave them on the land. I mean, U.S. Forest Service a few years ago decided there was too many horses coming across the road and a lot of their 911 calls would be, there's a horse on the road. They didn't know that the horses were here. And so that's when all the signs went up on the road. The U.S. Forest Service is saying that they're not wild, that they're feral, that either people left them, just left them here to live on the land, that they didn't want them anymore, or that they ran off from the Indian Reservation. You know, it's a bigger deal in the last month and a half because of the fact that there was this big announcement that the Forest Service was going to be getting rid of them and then a whole bunch of people came out and did a rally. They're just so peaceful. I mean, even even when one of the younger stallions gets ornery and decides he's going <laughs> to fight with the older stallion, it's, it's just, you know, it's nature. It's not, it's not something we're inflicting on them. It's something they do on a regular basis.